The Final Countdown Song The Final Countdown is a song by Swedish rock band Europe, released in 1986. Written by Joey Tempest, it was based on a keyboard riff he made in the early 1980s, with lyrics inspired by David Bowie's Space Oddity, originally made to just be a concert opener. It is the first single and title track from the band's third studio album. The music video by Nick Morris, made to promote the single, has become iconic with almost one billion views on YouTube. The video features footage from the band's two concerts at the Solna Hallen in Solna, as well as extra footage of the sound checks and footage from Stockholm. Origin and Recording The song was based on a keyboard riff which Joey Tempest had written, as early as 1981 or 1982, on a Korg Pala 6 keyboard which he had borrowed from keyboardist Mike Michaeli. In 1985, bassist John Levin suggested that Tempest should write a song based on that riff. Tempest recorded a demo version of the song and played it for the other band members. At first, the members expressed mixed reactions to it, including guitarist John Norum who was put off by the synth intro but said that he was glad they didn't listen to him. Tempest described their uncertainty. Some of the guys in the band thought it was too different for a rock band, but in the end I fought hard to make sure it got used. The song's lyrics were inspired by David Bowie's song Space Oddity. The sound of the keyboard riff used in the recording was achieved by using the Yamaha TX-816 rack unit and a Roland JX-8P synthesizer, as described by Michael E. I made a brass synth in 1986-1987-1988-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1989-1
contains footage from two concerts the band did at Sala Helen in Solna, Sweden on 26 and 27 May 1986, as well as some extra footage filmed at the sound checks for those concerts. Live performances The song has been a regular in Europe concerts ever since its live debut on the premiere of their final countdown tour in April 1986. One of the most memorable performances of the song took place in Stockholm, Sweden on 31 December 1999, as part of the Millennium Celebrations, as it was the first, and to date only, Europe performance with both of the band's lead guitarists, the original guitarist John Norum and his replacement, Key Marcello. Charts and Certifications The song reached number one in 25 countries, including the United Kingdom, and was certified gold in that country in 1986. In the United States, the song peaked at number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 18 on the Billboard Album Rock Tracks chart. The Final Countdown 2000 Reissue In 1999, the dance remix The Final Countdown 2000 was released. It was produced by Brian Rowling, who had previously had success with Believe by Cher. The band's reaction to the remix was less than enthusiastic. That remix was a disaster. Drummer Ian Hogland said, I wouldn't pass water on it if it was on fire. In a 2013 interview with The National, Joey Tempest commented on the remix, saying, The band were not happy with it. We were trying to get some other people to do the remix, and it just didn't pan out, so it ended up becoming a last-minute thing. Chart Positions Year in Charts Legacy The song is a favorite at sporting events, often being played to rally crowds. It has also become a staple of high school and college pep bands for the same purpose. On 2 October 1990, just a few hours before the German reunification, the English segment of international radio broadcaster of former East Germany, RBI, played the intro of the song while the female radio announcer says, our broadcast came to you from Radio Berlin International, the voice of the disappearing German Democratic Republic. Blender listed the final countdown as the 27th worst song ever, and both V. Hone and Blender included it at 16 on the list of the most awesomely bad songs ever. V. Hone ranked it at number 66 on their list of the best hard rock songs of all time. The song and band Europe appeared in a 2015 USA television commercial for Jayco Insurance, playing in a lunchroom as a microwave oven's timer is counting down toward zero seconds, saying if you're Europe, you love a final countdown. It's what you do. The song was used as entrance music for professional wrestler Brian Danielson on the Independence. Cover Versions a performance of the song by a band named Deep Sunshine was captured on video and later became a variation of a recrawl on Farc.com, receiving over 5 million views on YouTube. The video has been labeled the worst cover ever, its success stemming from its lack of artistic value. The final countdown is a particular favorite of guitarist Richie Blackmore, who incorporated elements of it into Gone with the Wind, his 1999 reimagining of Lev Nipper's Polyushko Poly. Ushko Poly.